Hey there everyone, I'm Dust Bunny Avenger, and if you're new to the channel, welcome to Slackers Undercover. If you like what you see, don't forget to slap that like button, bash that big ol' subscribe button, and tickle that little bell icon to make sure you never miss out on any of the awesome. What's up everyone, Dust Bunny Avenger here from Slackers Undercover, and we're back with more rain swept. Going straight in from last time into this time. Now, as always, fair warning, this game contains depictions of images and stories pertaining to murder, suicide, and trauma, which may be disturbing to some viewers. If you're one of those people, or any of the people that find that worrying some, just walk away from this one. There's a couple deep things. Last episode especially, some stuff came out, and you're like, mmm. I felt bad trying to even just reading it. So, take it from there. Alright. Day four, I believe, or day five. I think it may be day five. There's only two days left. We had a week, given a week time to figure out everything that's going on. I told you to stop smoking, but you just don't listen to me. Fine, gumshoe. Should I leave? No, stay in your room all day. Waste the day. You got two days left, man. Get to work. Oh my god, you look terrible. And don't tell me you're hungover from last night. That looks way worse. You need help, detective. Officer, if you want to help me, then help me solve this case. That's all I need to do right now. I'll be fine eventually. But we can't have much time with the case. We have two days. We can't fail. I... Okay, if you say so. I'm terrified that someone will happen to you. I'm terrified that something will happen to you before uh, this investigation is done. But Alright, let's push through for now. I hope we have some sort of breakthrough ASIP. I don't know how much longer I can see you uh, looking like you're on the brink of death. <sighs> so what's the plan? Like you said earlier, Alan's about to leave town later today. We need to get him talking to find out what he's been up to. We should also talk to Father Smith about what Lenny told you yesterday. I've also sent officers over to Diane's parents' house to locate her dad. We should hear from them soon. And please just visit Dr. Martinez and get something to fix you up. Maybe some sleeping pills. I don't know. Just meet him. Fine, I'll drop by the hospital and meet Dr. Martinez. Thank you, shall we leave now? Yeah, let's not waste any more time. Alright, lead the way. Though, of all the mornings, you probably could have used an extra coffee. Probably this morning, honestly. But, too many options there. Let's do what we gotta do. Let's swing by the hospital first. Looks like we can get from uh, Central Street down East Hills Road. So, Aspen Street down was grandpa the entire time. I knew it was grandpa the entire time. What are you guys up to? Whoa, whoa, detective. It's been five days, you're still here. What's grinding, man? Why don't you just close this case and go home? You're just wasting your time here. Yeah, man. Yeah, we might be. Who knows? Oh, yeah. The click, just keep walking. No more flying cars today. We're good. East Hills. Those medicines should help you with the nightmares. But please don't exceed the recommended dosage. You could have uh, undesirable results. All right. So, uh, what did you want to talk about out here? Not here. Let's go around the back. This man's about to cat me in the back. Now, after I teleported, do you have a light? What? I want to smoke. Do you have a light? Right? Sure, but, uh... What, you think doctors don't smoke? Not exactly setting a great example, though, right? Eh, old habits die hard. Anyway, I wanted to tell you something I just recalled. It's about Chris and Diane. I'm not sure if there's anything useful in there, but yeah, it's for you to decide, right? Diane had come to the hospital a few months back. I checked the date earlier today. It was the 16th of May. May 16th, go on. That was the day she'd move in permanently with Chris. But she got a small cut on her foot. Climbing out my window, she said. She was happy to tell me the story. 
without hiding any of the details that you think she would have. If I remember it correctly, it was something like this. Time to get this mission underway. Run everywhere. We don't have enough time. This is the main entrance to the building. It's locked from the inside. I need to find another way in. Oh crap, what are you doing, Chris? Hmm, her window should be within reach if I climb up this pipe. Press W to climb. Oh boy. I think this is it. Diane! Psst, Diane! Huh? Diane, look over here. What the? Chris, what on earth are you doing here? You know, I'm just hanging out. I should push you off here for making that joke. Seriously, what the hell are you doing here? I've come to rescue you. You've come to what? Are you serious? Get out of here before someone sees you. That's why I need to let you... I, that's why I need you to let me in. Please, Chris, if my stepdad sees you. That's why you need to let leave this hellhole. Let's it like a prison cell. You don't know him. He's capable of beating you to death. He won't even bother calling the police. Don't worry about that, Diane. I've planned ahead. Planned ahead. I've got a gun. What? Where'd you even get that? It was my dad's. He... Are you crazy? What is wrong with you? For everything you've told me, your stepdad sounds like a really dangerous, crazy person. I got this just in case. Right now, you're the one that looks dangerous, crazy person. Diane, I need to protect you. You're my responsibility now. I, I don't want to leave anything to chance. Chris, just come in. You're going to get us both killed. Oh, that is... What? Oh, I just saw your shirt. Like, bead through your body. It was weird. Shush. I thought you'd be impressed. Oh, um, interesting bedroom. Shut up. I feel like a boy band obsessed teen again. Um, shut up. Are you here to take me with you or make fun of my room? No, I'm gonna come anyways. Why not? You gotta come. You're miserable here. I can't just run away, Chris. It's dangerous. That, that too with you, a crazy man with a gun. Hey, but do you, do you want to live with me? I want, I want to travel around. Do you want to settle down and start a business? How's it going to work? We'll play rock, paper, scissors whenever we need to make decisions of that sort. Just come. <laughs> Chris, baby, it's not that simple. We'll figure things out. We can make it work as long as we're together. That's all I want. What if it doesn't work out? Where will I go then? I don't know if I can come back here. And anyway, my mother will probably send the cops or something to look for me. I don't want to deal with that. Say something sensible, Chris. You don't want to fail this mission. Um. Ooh. Say something, Chris. Something smart, mature, meaningful. That's what she's looking for. Don't don't say it. Don't say the three. Just don't. You love Pineview. It's a beautiful place. You said my place there is cozy, didn't you? Just think of all the fun we'd have. What? Chris, have you been listening to anything that I just said? Alright, that was neither smart, mature, nor meaningful. Do better. Look, Diane, I think it's worth giving this a shot. You need to get away from your stepdad in this toxic atmosphere. Even if he doesn't. And haven't you always wanted to move away from here? Isn't that something you've been trying to do? Yeah, but... Anyway, how bad can it go? Even if things don't work out between us, if for some reason you need to move away and leave me, I'll help you out with that. If things end between us, I'd still do it, as a friend. You can't make those kind of promises, Chris. I can't, maybe. But there's no way I'm going to convince you to come and then leave you stranded. I feel like it's my responsibility now to make sure things work out for you after today. And no, and yeah, you know, I, I do the things I, I say I'm going to do. Yeah. You're 24. Even if it's not the right decision, mistakes happen. It's not a crime. Your parents will understand, however terrible you say they are. It's worth finding out, I think. 
You already know what your current life is like. But what about a complete change? It's better than living with regret. Better than wondering what if. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, okay. Well, okay then. Help me pack. I did it. I did it. All right. Shh, not so loud. Back alley dudes, huh? What? They're good. I didn't say anything. You're going to be listening to them a lot over the coming days. Just saying. I don't mind. You want to take this boombox with you? Do you have one at home? Nope. Then take it. Take the CD player? You probably get tired of listening to my music in the boombox all day, so yeah. Hmm, I don't think I'll get tired. A few months later, you will. Trust me. Take it. So far, it looks like we're stealing. We're robbing the house. We have a boombox and uh, things. That's a nice looking lamp globe thing. We're taking that. Why a globe? I'm trying to sneak out of. Come on, it's really cool and I love it. It's either me and the globe or it's neither. Alright, alright. Yep, we're just robbing the house now. We got electronics, we got a globe. Yes, I need all that. I should have brought a truck. <laughs> Ooh, let's hit the guitar. Oh, a globe is too big to sneak out, but a guitar is alright. Do you expect me to play it or anything? We'll see about that. Fan of horror films, eh? Aren't you? Not really. They, they don't really scare me. That's not the point, Chris. You gotta laugh at them and try to predict the scares and... Oh god, we're gonna have so much fun. Put them in the bag. Now we fitting all this in that little bag. I should put all the stuff in there that she wants in the bag. Man, I can't believe this is happening. Okay, Chris, concentrate on the packing for now. Drop items in the bag. Well, the whole world's in the bag now. Oh, I mean, literally, because I, we put the globe. <laughs> I get it, Chris. I'm almost done here, too. All right, before there's a shootout while we're running. Thank you, Chris. Well, it wasn't that hard. Not for helping me pack, idiot. For taking me away from here. You don't know how much it means to me. Let's go. So that's why we got shot. Dude thinks we're kidnapping his daughter. Which maybe we are, technically. No, she's an adult. She has no face! The birds, they're so free. Like the flying cars. Legend has of flying cars in this part of the woods. I feel really sorry for those two. They were just kids, really. Still full of hopes and dreams. Find out what happened, yeah? Don't let the sheriff knock you off, of course. Yeah. And take care of yourself. If the dizziness persists, come straight back to me and we'll run a few tests. Okay, don't try to be a tough guy and ignore it. Yeah, Doc, don't worry, I'll be fine. So what did Dr. Martinez say? Ah, another worry. Gave me a few pills to sleep better. Seriously? Yeah, it's all fine. I gotta tell her about, I don't know, all the information you just got. <sighs> Find a way into Alan's house. Meet Father St. Uh, Smith at St. Madeline's Church. I think that'd probably be the best way to go for now. We can go Main Street and then just go up. So do you know where uh, Alan's house is? No. Yeah, we don't know where his house is yet, so let's 
Let's go to the church for now. Just kind of an idea, at least we know where that is. And then, well, we're on Main Street. Let's talk to Mark and see if uh, we know where he lives. We can't talk to Mark. Hmm, I shouldn't approach him directly. We need to find a way to make him let us into his house. I should look around. Does he live in the bar? Can't actually live in the bar, right? I mean, could. I mean, some bars have like a loft or something at the top. You, you never know. Grandpa, what's up, man? You know, I've... I figured I'd try Neuer anyway, see how it goes and all. Yeah, so how'd it go? Terribly! I felt so bored and lonely and bored. I said bored twice, Grandpa. I was really bored. I need to talk to people, especially Miss Brown. D did she actually talk to you, Grandpa? Have some respect for your eldest boy. Is that how you're supposed to talk? To? I'm sorry, Grandpa. I didn't mean. Nay. Nah. <laughs> I'm just mad with your son. God, kids these days are so gullible. <laughs> now get out of here. Hey, there's a little dog that we get the biscuits to. Aw, oh, look at that. Hey, buddy, I've never seen you around here. Where'd you come from? Hmm. Take the puppy. Officer Blunt. Take the dog with you and see if you can get it, in, get it into Alan's house. I'll get Alan and tell him there's a dog trapped inside. That way we can get inside. Stay there and keep an eye on the dog. Make sure it stays safe. Nice thinking, detective. Come on, boy. I want to talk to the ice cream man. Don't let me not talk to the ice cream man. Hi, ice cream man. Why do you get a bowling ball down here? Would you like some ice cream, sir? Yes, one please. Here you go. Uh, walk around with it. Alright, no time to waste. One will be waiting. Would you like an ice cream, sir? Yes. Yes, one please. Here you go. Alright, no time to waste, but I'll be waiting. Oh, uh, one more ice cream. No, okay, we'll, we'll go. Can't talk to you. Can't talk to you at all. Alright, Blunt will be waiting. Still don't know where... That is. Alan? Yeah, Detective? A little Aspen Street, right? We were just by, passing by your house and we heard some sounds. I think there's a dog trapped in there. Oh, really? That's odd. All right, open the house. We can let it out. Let's go. Yeah, just a dog randomly happened to get into your house. That sealed. Did you leave the window open? I mean, that's not the way to Aspen. Yep. Don't mind me. I'm new here. I'm new in town. Why don't they just wear their jackets? Yeah, that's right, lady. That's right. It's still in there. Hold on, open the door. Hey, buddy, how'd you get in here, huh? Oh, um, uh, Alan. I really need to go use the restroom. Oh, of course. It's upstairs to the right. I'm feeling kind of dizzy. Can we sit down somewhere inside? Oh, God. What's wrong? Come on come on in, officer. I'll be in the bathroom. Join you guys in a bit. Totally not going to just look around your house and see if I can see if you're doing some crazy. Okay, I have a bit of time to look around now. Let's see what I can find. You know, like legit cops do. Oh, boy. Ooh, a combination lock. Could some interesting be in there? We need to keep an eye out for important looking numerical combinations. I don't know what the combination is. I don't have enough information, I guess, either. Probably should look some more. Maybe it's that square lamp. Square. Four. Possibly pi. But that's 3.146. But it's not pi. Let's check upstairs. Dude, look. Look. 
Stone, can we have a can we have a discussion here? You're smoking in a man's house. Stop it. Have a little bit of respect. Also, I think he might know that you weren't in the bathroom if he can smell smoke everywhere, man. Okay, locked door. Ooh, nice painting. The painting looks really old. Looks like it's been here longer than he has. Let's go look through his bed and stuff. Cool, because we're cool. Hmm, bouquet and a birthday card. The flowers are fresh. Dear Audrey, happy birthday. Love, Alan. Interesting. Who's Audrey? I wonder if this is what he's been heading out today for. Could her birth date be the combination of the lock downstairs? Maybe. Maybe not. Looks like that's the only thing I can actually look at. All right. Ran down the stairs, totally didn't hear me. I move like a cat. I try Audrey's birthday for the combination. I wonder what date that format Alan uses. The flowers are fresh and he's driving out today, so I'm guessing your birthday is either today or tomorrow. Or was it yesterday? Wait, what's today's date? I could check my diary to be sure. October 11, 1996, so 1011, 10, that'd be a really weird birthday date to have, 1011, zero, one, zero. alright, 1011, that's it. Hmm, this means our birthday's today. Hello? Does anyone keep anything weird down here? There's a lot of little stuff in these boxes. Looks like they just moved in and not unpacked. Sure. I'm sneaking anyways. Let's turn the light on. Hmm, old clothes, shoes. Looks like they all belong to Alan. This needs a key. I should look around the house for it. Are you... Are you... It's behind the damn painting, isn't it? Where well, there could be. 20 bucks says it's behind the painting. And why do I say that? Because the last key from the other guy was behind the painting, so this kind of makes sense. The painting looks really old, like it's been here longer than he was. Okay, maybe not. Be not. They hear me running. They hear me running. All right. Okay, I'm gonna have to look. Oh, it's in his jacket, isn't it? Maybe the key to the desk in the basement is in there. Sure, just. Oh, there's a key in here. All right. Where's Detective Stone gone? Well, he drinks eight coffees a day. He's probably gonna be in there a while. Oh, yeah, we already looked in here. That's like clothes and stuff. Got it. Could this be Audrey? That looks very different here. Almost exactly like his brother Mark. Oh, what's this? Looks like a medical report. Fairwoods Medical Center. It's about a couple of hours drive from here, I think. It's dated 6th of October. Interesting. Treated case of carcinoma, bilateral breast. Present study shows resolution previously seen left breast lesion with a metabolic seroma and left ex So, uh, Audrey was treated for breast cancer. Shows regression post-operatively. Carcinoma. Maybe that's not breast cancer. I, I don't actually know what carcinoma is. I think that's a lung thing. No, that might be breast cancer. I don't know. It says radio, radio diagnosis. Guess we know where Alan was on the day, but why hide it? And where was he at midnight? I know what questions I should ask him now, at the very least. I'm done here. I should put the lights out and knock the door on my way out before they find me, which 
they're going to. And it turns out he has a shotgun, and then it's just gonna be real weird after that. I keep the, now I gotta keep the key back. If anyone asks, I was just uh, admiring. What a shade of gray. That goes the key, nice and easy. Back to Blunt and Allen. All right, officer. Yeah, I'm fine now. Maybe it's because I skipped breakfast today. Phew, glad to hear that. I'm thinking of keeping this pup with me. I'll name him Dino after the dog I had when I was a kid. What do you think, boy? Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, we really didn't check to see if that belonged to somebody, so... We could have just stolen a dog and used it to break and enter, but, you know, whatever. It's for a good cause. Find anything? Yeah, alan has been traveling to Fairwoods to meet someone named Audrey. Fairwoods? Who's Audrey? That's what we gotta find out. But now, not now, and we'll wait until later when he's ready to leave. Let's finish up the other work until then. Well, where else we go when, sir? We Father Smith at St. Madeline's Church. Which is, uh, I remember right, it's not Happy Valley. Is it off of Main Street? Yes. Need more coffee. Yo, what's up, dude? Do, do I talk to you now? We should confirm him later when he's about to leave Pineview. Ah. That's when you want me to talk to him. Like, hey, I know you're leaving to go some, do something important, but I really gotta talk to you for a second. Look at that view. It'd make a great painting if someone already hadn't painted it. Alright, Father, what in the hell? I mean, what have you been up to? Father. Hmm, he isn't here. Hang on, I'll go look for him inside. Only people who live in Pineview are allowed to go in this church without bursting into flames. <clears throat> no, I don't know. It's a nice moment. Part of me wishes I was wearing my sleepwear right now. To see his bony butt in those red. Father Smith will be out here in a minute. Detective, what are you? Quite a steep drop, huh? Yes, it is. Why don't you just step back a bit? Why is there no fence here? Well, the rain kept knocking it down, so they removed it. Plan to build stronger ones soon, but why? Nothing. It just made me think. About? Well? If someone fell from here, they'd definitely die. Makes you think, doesn't it? How you live, it doesn't matter how good, how exciting, or how happy your life is. It's all meaningless in the end. Nobody's even going to remember anything, or anyone. What's the point? I don't know, Detective. Why are you... Uh, I try not to think these things. But it matters, though, doesn't it? There is a point. The rest of us, we're left with the memories. We live our lives with that. The time we had with them, it's everything to us. What about Chris and Diane? What happens when there's no one left to miss them? When the other, when the only other person who would have thought of you is gone as well, don't they just disappear? Does their loss even matter if it doesn't hurt anyone? It's a good thing, almost in a way. I, I know there's Brad, but sorry to keep you waiting, Detective. How can I help? I had a few questions. Did Jack come here to church on the 6th of this month? Well, Detective, it was a Sunday. I says he did. Right. Any reason he would want to keep this private? I don't know. People come to church all the time. I don't see why they'd want to cut that from you. About the hotel that Chris wanted to open here. You said he had issues getting it approved? Yes. What was it? What is the only thing holding the project back? Oh no, there was several. Number of different issues. Issues like? Well, sometimes the tools being used for construction would go missing. There was this other incident when most of the machinery had tools that were possibly sabotaged, 
Covered with tar. Tar. Yeah, the kind they use for waterproofing or sealing roofs, I think. That wastes a lot of time and money, from what I recall. Hmm. Any idea who could have been involved, if it was indeed an act of sabotage? Oh no, I can only guess. It would have been someone that's handy with all those tools, I think. Do you have any idea if Jack was friends with, or close to, Chris and Diane? Hmm, I don't know, Detective. As you heard, nobody was really close to them. But I did see Jack talking to Diane a couple of times in the church early on. I don't want to assume, but I think it would be safe to say that Jack cared for her well-being. Hmm. Did Chris ever discuss any of these issues with you? Did all of this cause any sort of problems between Chris and Diane? Oh, it caused all sorts of trouble. You're right about that. Chris came over to the church to talk to me about it in the month of May, I think it was. Run. Oh, I can't run. I guess it's a church. It's the one place you can't run. You don't run in church. Apologies if you can hear my mother-in-law in the background yelling. It's, um, her only volume level is loud. So it kind of, oh, let me sit down. Father, bless me, for I have sinned. Hello, Chris. You look troubled. Everything okay? That's nothing. I'm just a little worried. Maybe I'm just thinking too much. Is it about the hotel? No, well, maybe. Something's not right with Diane. I don't know. She's unhappy. Do you think she doesn't like it here in Pineview? Maybe. I don't know, but it feels like it... She was okay with it before when she come to visit me. Now that she's here for good. Does she want to leave? Go back? How can she? She can't really go back. There's nothing for her to go back to. I don't know if I'm living here, though. She's just very different sometimes. I don't know how to describe it. It's like she's someone else sometimes. Like I'm talking to someone completely different. Are we having a flashback of a flashback? Yeah, we are. Well, that's all done. What do you think? Looks amazing. You're awesome. You know that, right? By the way, what's the situation back home? Are we going to be in trouble about the whole thing? I uh, spoke to Mom. I just said something. Something? Yeah, I just wanted to stay away for a while. Really? Anyway, it's not important. Forget about it. It's been dealt with. Silence. What? You think I'm hiding something? I didn't even say anything. You thought it. I can't help that, though, can I? Uh, all I can do is decide whether or not to say it. In any case, I don't think you're hiding anything. I'm just surprised it all went so smoothly. I'm happy with that. So what are you thinking? Gonna pick up a job here? I don't think so. Why not? How long is this whole hotel construction supposed to take it exactly? Well, the plans have been finalized and I just need to get approved. That's gonna keep you busy? Yeah, but it's exciting, right? Anything wrong, Diane? No, Chris, relax. Oh, alright. It's gonna rain. It rains a lot here. I love it. I hate it. Why? I just do. Is that a problem? No, of course not. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Don't apologize for that, Chris. Hey, hey, what's wrong? When did we start arguing over this? <sighs> Chris, I'm just... I'm fine. Did you catch what Father Smith's... Did you catch what Father Smith said in there? Someone has been sabotaging the construction site. With tar. Looks like we need to pay our man Jack another visit. Well, to Jack's house we go. Bam, bam, bam. We'll deal with you later. You're probably a friend of Jack, and I don't trust you. Kind of, maybe. You should be fine, actually. Uh, Jack's house is just... On central, all the way left. Keep heading that way, and eventually you hit a wall. Are we not on? We are. 
Me Jack. Okay. But we gotta, we're on Main Street, aren't we? Yeah, we're on Main Street. So why can't I go that way? Cliffview Road? Oh, I actually have to go on the Cliffview. Sometimes the game's weird about where you gotta go and what you can do. I don't see him anywhere. Let's look around. Is this the thing ever gonna get fixed? No, because he holds all the cards. Those cars here. Interesting. Jack's dead behind the bush. Well, he's not here. What do we do? Send an officer over to his house. His car's still here, so he must be in Pineview. Until then, we got other leads we need to follow. Let's go talk to Alan. Hello, Alan. How long have you been... How long are you going away for? Oh, hey, detective. A couple of days, I think. What's in Fairwoods, Alan? F fair... Where, where, why, why would you say that? I'm not... Wait, are you going back to Fairwoods? I don't know why. And who's Audrey? How did you... Alan? I... I didn't know how to tell you, Mark. Detective Audrey is my wife. I was, I guess. Five years ago, we had no choice but to end our marriage. It wasn't bitter, we just wanted different things from each other. But a month, about a month or so back, she called me. I learned that Audrey had breast cancer. What? I didn't know how to tell you all this, Mark. After five years of absolutely no contact, something broke. I realized I just had to see her again. On the sixth day, the day of the incident, we learned that she had been cured. The cancer's gone. It's not really a cure, it's more of a regression, which means it can come back, but yeah, it's kind of cured in a way. Uh, that's where I was on the sixth detective, with her in the hospital, where she's been treated at. But why keep it a secret and risk becoming a suspect? Audrey and I talked and realized we want to get back together. She said she wanted that from our first day apart, but only if I wanted it to. And I didn't want Mark to know. I didn't know how to tell him that I was going back after everything. After my marriage ended, it was a very difficult time for both Mark and I as a family. I was in a bad way, and I, I didn't suffer alone. Mark suffered with me, for me, emotionally and even financially. He spent a month in Fairwoods with me, holding my life together. He kept me from falling apart. He made sacrifices for my sake. After I joined him in Pineview, he let me stay in his place for a month. Couldn't find any work, so he split his cafe and let me run a business without taking any money for the place. I didn't know how to tell you I was going to disregard everything you've done for me, Mark. I was going to go back and turn your suffering meaningless. That all you went through was for nothing. Alan, you idiot. All you had to do was talk to me about it, openly and honestly. You know that isn't easy. Well, you'd know that I wouldn't be hurt at all. All those, year back, all those years back, I suffered for you because I love you. Because I want you to be happy. If going back makes you happy, then that's all that matters to me now. Not that we wasted a lot of money and energy some years back. Mark. You don't know how happy I am for you right now. Plus, we had fun here, right? Thank you, Mark, for everything. I, I'll make it up to you somehow, I swear. Am I free to leave, Detective? You could call up the hospital to confirm my story. Yeah, alright. Will you be coming back to Pineview soon? I should be back in a day or two. I'll be here for some time before moving back to Fairwoods. I can respect that. I've been through parts of my life like that. You start kind of, like, you're timid about telling people that you're moving or doing something because you're like, they helped you, but you don't want to, like, yeah, I, I get that. I hope things work out for him. I, I don't think he's ever really gotten over. It's going to be a little lonely without him here, working right next to the cafe. I'll visit more often, Mark. I mean, I already come every morning, but still. Thanks, Officer Blunt. Anyway, how's the investigation going, Detective? You know we can't talk about the case, Mark. Yeah, of course. That's odd, you know. I don't get it. People say they were extremely toxic on the verge of killing each other anyway, but... I never saw that. I only heard from others, as I expect they did as well. Those two looked fine, except the last few months where they stopped coming out of the house. I mean, couples argue, right? Nothing wrong with that, as long as they try to work on it. And I think they did that, too. In fact, I mean, I remember once in the cafe. I mean, when you're angry, it feels like you're completely forgotten what we have. 
It almost feels like you don't know me, that I love you. And if, if I'm a stranger, that you've never felt anything for me. Chris, it isn't like that. Remember that time when... When I climbed the pipe outside your window and brought you over to Pineview? How crazy and exciting that night was. And how the drive back to Pineview felt so beautiful, like anything was possible that day. Moments like those are always alive in the back of my head, even when we're arguing. It's why I don't want to destroy you in a fight. I feel too much for you to ever do that. But those moments, it's like they never existed or mattered to you. They did, and I don't want to destroy you either, Chris. I don't know sometimes, it feels like you do. Chris, it's just that when I'm angry, I forget about all that. Only for that moment. Y you hold yourself back because of the good times, but I can't. I guess I do forget everything for a bit, but I do love you too, Chris. What should we do? I don't know, just remember all this when it sounds like I'm losing my mind. That I don't mean any of the terrible things I say, I just try to ignore it, maybe. Oh wait, what's this in my pocket? Is it a post-it note? Do, do, do you really walk around with post-its in your pocket? Sometimes. We can put up major points that we can refer to during arguments and hopefully... It doesn't work like that. This isn't science. They're just emotions. But how else do we make it work? I don't know. I like this. Alright, let's just... Write stuff down for fun. We don't need to pin it up. Come on. Fine, let's make some dumb notes. Well, show me. Hey, I... Can I... What do I do? What does this mean? It's what we're doing now. We're discussing our issues and not ignoring them. Let's keep doing that. Convey patiently? You know me, I get messed up when you talk to me like you don't even know me. Let's discuss our issues patiently. I know it's hard to keep calm at times, but let's not say horrible things to each other. Hmm. Yeah, alright. During arguments, it's like you don't remember who I am. Try to think back to all the good times we had together. Don't forget about all this just because you're annoyed. I can't do that when I'm angry, Chris. I already told you. You'll have to scrap this one. I just... I can't think about anything of the good stuff when I'm annoyed. Alright. I'll just put this one over here, then. Seriously? You've complained about it. That should give you more time and attention. Yeah, but don't put it up on a wall, Chris. Uh, okay. What's this, a mathematical equation? I know you get mad if I start analyzing what's making you angry. You've said yourself you need a little space for a while and you'll be fine. Figuring it out and analyzing makes things worse and gives you another reason to get even angrier. So when I do that, let me know by saying it's happening, that you're about to get really mad. Say that and I'll disappear and just give you space to cool off. <laughs> what, it's happening? That sounds so dumb, I'm not gonna do that. <sighs> Fine, I'll give it a shot. This? No need to keep up with each other's bullshit if they say something that hurts you or something you don't like. If something's bothering you, let the other person know. Don't put it up with it and suffer in silence. You know I never suffer in silence. Heh, <laughs> yes, I do. Who, what? This is for me. When it feels like you don't even know me. You don't need a reminder for that. It sucks that you don't just know it. I know it, but just the same way you can't recall the good times. I can't see any sign of love if you, in you during our arguments. Chris, please don't. I don't want to see a note on the wall every day questioning the validity of my feelings for you. My feelings are real. Please don't question them. Yeah, alright. Well, that was fun. Fun. I love the sound of thunder.
and the rain. The cafe is so cozy, I should come here every day. Take me with you. I agree with Mark, something about what's happened just doesn't really add up all the way. So that's what I think. They... Detective! You'd ask me to be informed if Jack returned. Well, he's back now. Perfect. Great job, Watts. Officer Blunt, we should go talk to Jack. Mark, thanks for all the information. And away we go. Sup, D? Jack, what's up with my car? It's been about five days already. Aw, oh, man, don't stress, dude. You see, I had a hard time getting some of the parts. I got announced so the car should be fixed by tomorrow. I need you to ask a couple questions, Jack. Shoot. Not literally. <laughs> Have you told us everything about what happened on the 6th? Of course, why wouldn't I? Unless I skipped something unconsciously, something that I might have assumed unimportant. And what would that be? I mean, I did go to church that day, but you know, big deal, right? I don't really want to intimidate him. That sounds like good cop, bad cop, even though I'm really good at that. If we convince him the evidence is against him, he might. we might press him for additional information. Jack, we know that you met Diane alone more than a couple of times. We know that Chris's site was sabotaged by using tar and that you had a bucket with you some days back. So unless you tell us your version of events and how you're involved but not guilty, I see things coming become, becoming very difficult for me here on out. I'm only going to ask you a single question now. Answer honestly. The most important question is probably, did you sabotage Chris's hotel construction? Or where's that bucket of tar gone? Well, that's that, actually. Where's that bucket of tar gone? The one that I saw here in your garage. I gave it back. I returned it. I gave it back to Father Smith. Ooh. Look, man, yeah, I did sabotage the construction site, but it isn't me that planned that. I don't know what else Father Smith has been involved in, but he put me up to this. I was only following his orders, dude, and I had my reasons. Start talking, Jack. What have you been up to? Why were you secretly meeting Diane at the hotel project? What's going on? Okay, bottom line is he didn't want the project coming up. I don't know why. He paid me to sabotage the construction, gave me the tools for it more than once. Tar, he gave that to me too. He asked me to steal and wreck the tools. And yeah, he gave me good money to do it. That's how I got my convertible. He said the project was causing problems between the two. They were constantly fighting about it. You know, back at the town hall earlier, hmm? When I was meeting with him about the project, I saw this magazine about beachside hotels and. Are you listening, Diane? Of course, baby. It got me thinking there's so many advantages to building on the coast the beach, the water sports, even the transport. Good infrastructure. Okay, so? So nothing. I, I just thinking of how nice beach resorts are. Right. What? What do you mean what? Can't you believe you're already bored of can't believe you're already bored of Pineview. What? When did I say that? Do you ever listen to yourself? I'm putting words in my mouth. That's not fair. So what are you reading? Hello? You know, I thought you were obsessed with this project that had to be in Pineview. I'm amazed that you can lose interest so easily. I was thinking out loud. Jesus, jeez. Well, yeah, well, it starts with a thought, doesn't it? Damn, what's wrong? What's going on? Why are we even fighting about this? This is stupid. This is because I... Fantastic conflict resolution, Chris. Oh, come on. This is stupid. You're stupid. You overanalyze everything. What do you expect me to do when you don't explain what's going on with you? I'm not a bloody mind reader, Diane. Shame. It'd probably be a more lucrative business. I get it. I think Pineview is great, and I shouldn't even think of leaving. I never said that. In any case, the point is whether or not I like Pineview. It's that you like Pineview. You're supposed to love this place. You can't just start thinking of beaches all of a sudden. I do love it here. When the hell did I ever imply I didn't? 
He just did, by thinking about moving somewhere else. It was the thought. Well, you shouldn't even need to think about it. I'm sorry, alright? Jeez. I'm so lost with you, honestly. What is it even safe to talk about? What is even safe to talk about anymore? Oh no, man. I mentioned booking a holiday. Hope this doesn't piss Diane off. Oh shit, I asked her if she wanted coffee. I hope I haven't ruined Diane's day. I'm being a child. What is safe, Diane, really? It's like I have to filter my own GD words just in case all this happens. I don't understand you. Don't blame me if you can't read people, Chris. It's not my fault you're wired wrong. So that's how you feel, huh? Wired wrong? That's a really shitty thing to say. Can we stop? Just give me a headache. Sure, Diane. Whatever you want. Yeah, I've been in relationships like that. Chris? You know, that was really terrible. I, I said some mean things. It's just the, that way with me. When I get pissed off, I blow up. I say horrible things. Things I don't mean. I'm sorry you had to put up with that. You've been in there a while now. Are you okay? Chris? I'm gonna make us some coffee, alright, baby? Then we can watch a scary movie together. Sorry for snapping at you. I love you, Chris. I wanted to help Diane. If scrapping the project was gonna make her happy, then I was up for it. But that wasn't the only reason I did it. Diane, she was beginning to feel scared, man. Scared of? Chris, he had a gun. They had a couple arguments, and she said the gun was always within reach. No way. I care about you. I want you to be safe, but there's not no way I'm gonna get involved with the gun. Please, Jack, I'm not safe. Please don't leave me in this situation. I don't know. Tell the cops. It'd get really shitty if we try to handle it ourselves. So, this is what I think. So, the stepdad was situation A. She didn't really have a, a, a hand in the matter, but there was a lot of, like, really, f like, well, I, actually, I don't even know if she had a hand in the matter. Like, the rape thing, we, we actually don't know if it's true. Um, but there is a lot of telltale signs if she wants to get out and move in with another guy, and she kind of did not force her way, but at least influence him to move in. So, she's trying to get out of there, and now she's really kind of upsetting this guy, who is now another, like, oh no, it's another danger area, and she's kind of doing the same thing she did to Chris, to Jack, in a sense. I can't tell the cops. What would I tell him? He keeps it there in that drawer, and I just want you to take the gun and go? Leave the rounds here, just please, please, Jack. I talked to Father Smith about this. He convinced me the only way to end their arguments was to take the hotel out of the equation. I agree that it doesn't sound the best way to help anyone. I realize that soon enough, too. All it did was cause more arguments. I'll make her happy, as Father Smith convinced me it would. I was a little slow to catch on, but eventually I did, so I thought, What'd you think, Jack? What'd you do? I decided to go confront Chris to talk to him face to face and tell him what I'd done. And show him that he was making a Diane miserable. And I wanted to stay all out of it, but I'd done a lot of damage. I need to fix things. I couldn't sleep. On the 6th, I was frustrated. I started walking over to their place. That's when I heard the gunshot. Yeah, how many shots did you hear? How many shots did you hear? Just one shot. That's when I freaked out and ran back to my place. That's all I heard. I wasn't even sure the shots came from their place. It was only obvious the next morning. Did you see anyone after the shots? No, didn't see one on my way back. What time was this exactly? I don't remember. Probably after 12? Are you sure it was after 12? I just remember it was about 12.30 when I got back. So probably my place is about 15 minutes from theirs. All right, Jack. I'll let you go home for now. I don't want you to leave in Pineview and go anywhere we can't get in touch with you. You got that? Sure, dude. I'll be in my shop if you need anything. Detective, I got some news for you. Diane's father wasn't even in the country. That's all right, Ryan. It doesn't matter anymore. Round up some officers and search the town for Father Smith. Officer Blunt, come with me. We'll look for him in the church. We need to find him now. Yeah, I mean, 
Jack's got some things going on, but we got, come on, we got to figure out why Father Smith is behind this. I mean, so Jack heard shots. That doesn't mean that he was a part. I mean, he was. He kind of was fueling the fire at this point. But where was Smith? He's like the one person that we... He might have had a reason. But he hasn't had like a good alibi or anything about what... Is, everything's going on here. Did the priest do it? No, he isn't here. Where is he? Detective, we looked everywhere. He's not in Pineview. He seems to have left town. No, no, it's him. Doesn't this make it obvious? Why else would he run? Michael. Damn it, we let him slip through our fingers. Of course it was him. Ah, no. Michael, please. What the heck is going on here? We think we figured it out, sir. It's Father Smith. You got yourself wrapped up in all this well, officer? I know who you think it is, detective. You got all my men looking for him. Father Smith, such a respected figure of our town. One that has done so much for Pineview. You come here and start flinging accusations left and right, muddying good people's names out in the evidence? Sir. You're wrong. We have a confession from Jack. And is it conclusive? Did he say that Father Smith murdered someone? Or did he just go ahead and make the rest up? You come here and talk big about why we shouldn't jump to conclusion. Now look at what you're up to. For what reason, huh? Why the hell are you so bent on pushing the story? Whatever your personal agenda is, whatever your intentions, keep them out of our town and lives. I already called the head office. You're off this case, and I want you out of Pineview by the morning. Oh, he's having flashes of uh, his Abigail in the window. That's not good. Okay, he's passing out. Detective, are you sure you'll be okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. We'll tackle this tomorrow, right? I'll speak to Sheriff Harris. We'll sort it all out. I'm sure the officers we sent out will find Father Smith. Okay, Michael? Y yeah, yeah. Some rest. We'll fix things tomorrow. Hey, Michael. The time has finally come, huh? I've been waiting so long for this. Epico, we had him. We almost had him. But you don't. It's over, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Don't worry, Michael. You'll only be happy with me. Oh, boy. Dr. Martinez, we're gonna have to have a talk about those pills. Ah, uh, what is this ragdoll simulator? Wee! Oh, I do. I gotta get all the things. of a death cap for cutie song and soul leaves body huh? oh boy yup I'm being sucked back you can't give up Michael you can't Back in uh, Pineview, I guess. Slowly going into the ground. Oh boy. Oh, someone fell asleep with his um. <sighs> this is what you get for smoking all the time, buddy. got that damn cigarette, I swear, man. I'm gonna get you to kick the stuff if you make it out of here alive. A traffic light in the woods? I finally lost it, haven't I? Now that or someone's playing a really dangerous game with me. 
I just feel like he'd scream like Arnold. Ugh. There's a drop. Maybe climb down using the tree. It also says no smoking, so we're going to turn smoking on. It's a dream. Why not? Didn't succeed. Ah, shit. What the heck? How did that... That building? I've seen it somewhere. Steady now. Hailed it. No, not this place. It can't be. This isn't happening. No, this car. How did it get here? Abigail. What are you going to do now, Michael? Why are you doing this? You lost. You failed the case. Here it is. Here's the truth. Can you keep running anymore, Michael? Is it possible? Come here. Come to me. No. Oh, actually, I don't want... Just ignore it. It's not there. It's not real. I don't want to go that way. Just keep running to the left. I can't leave, can I? Oh, well, actually, wait. It, it seemed like I can actually keep running. Like, I'm, I'm running to the left right now. Like, can I actually avoid this? I don't know what I'm avoiding, but it, it just seems like something here is going askew. You know, it doesn't look like I can. And it there's a... I'm not running forever. <sighs> I don't want to... Eh. Okay. We're Peter Pan now. Are you going to keep your promise? Or are you going to run? Are you going to leave and look at me? Give in to what you did? Time's up. I... It's not so bad after death. Don't you want to be with me again? Don't you feel responsible? How can you let me go and keep on living? That is some serious survivor's guilt. I... I think I want to stay. I want to... fight. There's something within me. A voice other than yours. It says I can fight. I must fight. Fine. Remember, if you fail again, you'll exhaust your spirit. There'll be nothing left of you. You'll come with me. I know you will. You know it was your fault. I'll be waiting. No! It wasn't my fault! I have to stop doing this to myself. Leave me. Let me live. Go away. Spam E like a madman. E. Oh, e is the magic button. Any news about Michael? Nothing yet. Seems to have completely disappeared. I'm so worried. Where could he possibly be? I got a couple of men looking for him. Without the chief's permission, of course. Say, what was up with the sheriff yesterday? Have you ever seen him like that? Gosh, never. He didn't hesitate. Officer? Find anything? When we found out how the fire started, the cigarette was used. Used? It was arson. Someone deliberately tried burning this place down. Wait, that's... What is it? That's the that's this brand Michael smokes. What the heck? Sir, we found him. Oh, thank God. Listen, don't mention the cigarette to him for now. You don't trust him? I do, but we don't know what state of mind he's in. Okay. Detective, where are you? Are you okay? Jeez, you look beat up, detective. Do you need a doctor? Uh, Michael? Michael, what's going on? What was that? A camera? Hey, who's clicking photos in here? Camera? Odd, I wonder if they let the press in. Blunt, we gotta catch him. What? Who? Wait, Detective, where are you going? It's gotta be Johnny, doesn't it? Wait, because of the cam... Yes, the camera. It's got to be him. We don't have time to lose Blunt. 
But detective, it couldn't even be. Wait, hold on, what's that? Blunt, look at this, I'm sure this is from Johnny's camera. Oh God. What? He was spying on them. I thought I'd find you up here. Hey baby, I missed you today. I have so much to tell you. Oh, Diane, we made such good progress today. The boys and I were talking about... Chris, I was thinking, could we go out tonight? It's been so long since I had you to myself. Alright. Oh, please, don't act like I'm twisting your arm. It's written all over your face. You want to stay in, huh? I'd prefer it, to be honest, yeah? I can't believe you. Here we go. You spend all your time on site. I'd really appreciate... I can't deal with this today. Seriously? Seriously. I asked you to go to dinner and you react as though I've asked you to pull your own teeth out. That's not fair. No, it isn't. You're so unbelievably selfish sometimes. Let's not fight, please. Who said we're fighting? Is that what you expect from me? You can hardly blame me for that. I just never know what's going to set you off. You know, I have to guess which version of you I'll be coming home to. I just love playing that game on my commute. Will it be happy Diane? Loving Diane? Will I be sick with cruel Diane? Or extra special mopey Diane? Who knows? You're being mean. Oh, am I? I didn't realize. Stop overreacting. Maybe if we communicate like normal people, I wouldn't have to. What about you pencil me into your diary for next week, huh? Then we can talk all you want. Do you know why we always end up here every damn time? Because I can't talk to you. I can't. I have to keep it all bottled up just in case I step on one of your precious eggshells and piss you off. I just asked you for some time. Is that too much to ask for? I wasn't even pissed off earlier, you know. Not until you freaked out for no reason and started bracing yourself for an argument. I'm not a monster. Stop making me out to be one. Yeah. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry, okay? All right, let's go out. Are you serious? Don't do me any favors, please. What else should I do? I don't know, care about me? About other people? The world, the sky, the bloody coastal infrastructure, it's all beautiful, right? I should try harder. But you have to stop fucking with my head like this, it's not fair. How could you accuse me of something like that? You talk at me, not to me, about bricks and evening entertainment and wallpaper swatches. When you do come home, rarely on time, I might add, you talk about your colleagues more than me or my or families. What do I have to say in return? Oh, love, I read such a good book yesterday. I had dreams too, remember? But then we return to the hotel, always back to the bloody hotel. If I can't win over a building, then I don't have... I don't know if I can carry on. No, enough. I don't want to care, talk about this anymore. I'm done for the night. Hey, Chris, what you up to? Hey you, what you up to? Just listen to some music. Oh, is it a new album? Hmm. Are you mad? No. Could have fooled me. You've been quiet all you you've been all quiet and distant. What's wrong? I do love you, you know. Sure, Diane. Chris, do you really doubt that? Sometimes, yeah. You mean everything. I don't know whether to trust your feelings, Diane. I don't know whether you really mean the things you're saying right now. Chris, please don't say things like that. Well, what do you want me to say then? Because whatever I do say is wrong, according to you. I don't mean most of the things I say. To learn some damn self-control. I'm not a punching bag for all the things you may or may not mean. No, you, you, you shouldn't. You shouldn't have to deal with me. I'm terrified that you'll leave me. I don't know what I'll do if that ever happened. Diane, I don't want to leave you. But you keep doing your best to make me. You tried to break it off, didn't you? Break us up. Why? I didn't mean it. I guess I just wanted to piss you off. 
hurt you. Well, you were successful in doing that. Looking at you right now, I, I want to believe you. But you keep confusing me. Don't pay attention to the things I, that I say when I'm angry, Chris. I don't mean them. I'll try. Can we forget this happened? Already forgotten. Hey, how about we go somewhere? Why? Come on, we've got a car. Let's drive to the next town over and watch a movie. Maybe we can stay the night somewhere and drive back to Pineview in the morning. Remember how special you thought the drive was when you met me here from home? Came here with me from home? You kept saying how beautiful you thought the hills looked in the morning light, remember? Yeah, that, that was that was beautiful. Well, let's go. You see, Diane, you get these things about me. I want us to be this way, Diane. To inspire and pick each other up, not break us down. Chris, I've told you before, I don't want to break you either. God. Why was he watching them, taking photographs and writing notes about them? Only he can answer that. Come on, we need to find Johnny. He lives on Overlook Street. Well, being that the night has ended and honestly that the uh, we didn't really sleep that well... But going on to the next day, I think is going to be next time. Thank you for watching. Thanks for hanging out. For more news information, what's going on, what may be, check out the description below. If you like what you saw, want to see more like it, I want to see what's going on with this crazy story here. We'll talk to you guys next time. See ya, folks. Bye. So pretty. I want a full glass front house like this. It's so nice. You know, it'd be really bad to walk around your underwear, though. <laughs> no one needs to see that. <laughs> Especially not me.